Welcome to Moco with me, Stephanie Palomino. Nowadays, when you're a user, you get a lot of information on your phone. Everyone wants your attention. So for a marketer, it's not only about that the user is downloading your app, it's about how he's staying active and comes back. One company is helping with this is Jump. Johanna, tell me, what is Jump is doing to help me? So Jump does multiple things, but the biggest thing for us is to try and leverage everything that is not Facebook, all the other apps, how they use that advertising to get people to find and discover your app, download it and then come back. But it's not only about the numbers, or? No, it's really always about your app and your product. Ultimately, if the product's good, you can find users and you'll find ways to find them. If your product's not good, you're not going to find them. So it's about having the right product and having the right message to the right people. And it is about numbers in terms of conversions and it is data can really help you figure out who those users are and how to talk to them. But you still need to know how to cater for them. What is the other three biggest mistakes big marketers are doing? So the biggest mistake, the number one mistake, is to assume that to acquire users, all you need is installs. Because installs are like potatoes. They mean nothing, unless people do something. I mean, some of them are fraud, and luckily they're just a small portion, but you have to engage a user to know, is that install a bad install because the user is really not right for us? Or is that a good install, but I just haven't engaged my user? And push can be great, and email can convert, but oftentimes it doesn't because you don't, you know, if somebody gets a push from you and five WhatsApp messages and three SMSs, you, you're not going to be the first thing they open. So you can miss them. Trying to use advertising when you know the user is in front of their phone and you have that real estate space in front of them to engage them with the right message. Come back to the app. This is what we do. Think about it, I'm a marketer and have no mobile experience and I come to you. What are the first three steps? to get on the wagon? The first thing is you need to be tracking stuff. When people install, it's like where they came from, okay, then there's an install, we get a post back. Then they reopen, there's a post back. Then they registered, looked for a product, searched for a product. It's important to not only have the post back, but have the metadata. So you need to, step two in tracking is get the metadata. When people do a search, don't just get a post back that says there was a search. Get a post back that says there was a search, this was the search item. Uh, let's say it was travel, this is the origin, this is the destination, these are the dates. The more information you have on that post back, the better we can do in terms of engagement because we can get very granular. And the third thing is be smart about the creatives. I think people underestimate the power of the message and the visuals. So of course it's more about the placement as being in front of the right person, but if you don't have the right message, it doesn't work. So understanding your unique selling points and knowing what makes you different and why people are going to come to you. Johanna, thank you for all those insights and learnings. Thank you for watching and I hope we see us soon.